believe that's Jeff Brigham throwing. Here's the 3-1. And it's high ball four. So Walker walks the leadoff man. And on the count, here's the pitch. Fastball line to left. That's a base hit for Real Muto. His first against the Mets this year. Fan gets to it quickly enough to hold Harper at second. But now the Phillies have runners at first and second. Nobody out. And Walker will have to face Bryson Stott, a left-hand batter, and that will fulfill his three-batter obligation. Here's payoff pitch. High ball four. That loads him up, and here comes Buck. So Walker allows a walk, a single, a walk, and here are the Phillies trailing by three with the bases loaded, nobody out. Right-hander Jeff Brigham will come into the game. Oh, the count, the pitch. Swing and a grounder, shortstop, hole, cut off by the third baseman, Beatty. Double clutches, throws to second, safe. The throw pulled McNeil off the bag. Harper scores, everybody's safe. Real new throw to third, stop to second. Boom on it first, it is six to four, New York. And the bases remain loaded with nobody out. Here we the go. The ball's confirmed. The runner's safe. New York Mets losing the challenge. Brigham ready. The payoff pitch to Marsh is low ball four. It forces in a run. The Mets lead is cut to six to five. And the bases remain loaded with nobody out. Jeremy Hefner, the Mets pitching coach, is on his way to the mound. That's now the pitch to Schwarber. Down and in. Did it hit him? It hit him. And that ties the game. Schwarber hit in the leg by the pitch from Brigham. And it is a 6-6 six to six game here in the bottom of the eighth inning. The bases remain loaded with one out. Now the pitch. Breaking ball inside. He hit him. He hit him on three and two, and that brings the go-ahead run home. Unbelievable implosion by the Mets bullpen and defense to an extent here in the eighth inning. The Phillies have taken the lead 7-6, to six, and Buck Showalter is headed out to the bullpen. Kimbrell sets at the shoulder. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Check swing ball in the dirty. Went around strike three. A call made by the home plate up. Eric back as Canna's arguing with him. And Canna could get tossed here. He's having his say. Buck Showalter hustles out from the dugout. Remember, the only players the Mets have on the bench now are Danny Mendick and Luis Diorme. And Buck has been tossed. Buck Showalter said whatever he said. He's motioned now, but he thought that pitch was down, and you can understand the frustration of Buck Showalter having seen what he saw from the Mets' bullpen in the bottom of the eighth inning. And now Canna charged to have gone around on a check swing. The first, here's the one-two to Pham. Check swing. He clearly went around that strike three on the ball in the dirt, the knuckle curve. And that's the second out. Two check swing strikeouts after Alonzo was hit by a pitch to begin the inning. The Mets down to their last out. And Jeff McNeil, who is 0 for 3 with a sacrifice bunt, will be the 0-2 to McNeil. Swing on a high fly ball to center. Marsh started in, now moves in a step. He makes the catch. The ball game is over. And the New York Mets have absolutely gift wrapped and given a game away to the Philadelphia Phillies as the bullpen and to a lesser extent the defense imploded in the bottom of the eighth inning when the Phillies scored four runs on only one hit. In the ninth inning for New York as they suffer as painful a defeat as they have all year. No runs, no hits, a hit batsman, one man left. The final score, the Philadelphia Phillies seven and the New York Mets six. Back to talk about it in a moment.